Hello and welcome to another episode of Boxing with Paul. And today, I'm excited to bring you the UB Size 60 inch phone tripod with carry case and cell phone mount holder for live streaming extended will travel lightweight tripod stand with smartphone wireless remote compatible with iOS Android. Let's take a look at it. The main reason why I'm choosing to do an unboxing video on this is just so that you know what to expect when you're buying products like these off Amazon because we all have certain expectations from them and for $24.99, let's see what kind of product we got. Uh, this is a well needed upgrade for the channel as I am recording off a gooseneck from overhead and then the one that you guys are looking at right in front of me is actually just a car mount that has been super glued to the side of a space heater uh, mounted on top of some paint cans so that is my current setup very very professional so i wanted an actual tripod for me to put my phone onto because i don't even record with a real camera okay and again this is what we get and there, uh, that's it. We didn't get anything else in the box. We do get a carrying case with it, which let's face it, we're probably gonna toss up and you and never ever use again. Um, we got some accessories. We do get a little remote. Uh, does it have battery included? Batteries are included. Okay, that's a plus. All right. Okay, cool. And then for our instructions, okay, it says, Step one, pairing, turn the remote on with the power switch located at the side. Okay, we saw an LED flicker. Turn on your phone's Bluetooth setting and connect to UB size. Okay. UB size. It says the blue light will stop flickering once connected. Okay, it has stopped. Okay, so now we're gonna open our phone's camera app. And it says, um, Okay, to just use it. It says if your camera does not, if it's not compatible, download the free app camera 360. Okay, so uh, we click the iOS and let's hope it works. Does it work? Okay, so that was for recording. That is for Andrew, that does not work. Okay, so it does, it does work. Wow, okay, very cool. All right, okay, so and I guess if you hold it, it records video. Very, very cool. So I am guess you tap it one more time for it to stop. All right, very cool, I'm impressed. This worked a lot better than I thought it would. I'm very, very impressed. Um, so I, can we just take a second and talk about this? I have never had any sort of Bluetooth controller like that. That is very cool. Um, I guess that's the whole selfie sticks are for. Um, but let me just say that it's very cool. I have never had that. I don't know if it's because I'm old or what, but let's go ahead and continue with our unboxing. Uh, looks like for our operating instructions, we just got a quick little rundown of what your tripod is like. Um, it's telling you to lock it in and do a few different knobs that we have. Okay. And foldable phone clip. Okay. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is the top of itself, I'm gonna put this aside. And here it is, okay. So here's the tripod. Um, here's the little knob that goes with, okay, this, it feels pretty heavy duty, it feels pretty sturdy. You know, that might be just because it's new. Um, there we go, it feels a little, a little bit easier to, there we go. So it has various knobs for you to, twist and adjust, you know, as you can see, you loosen this one up and that, that raises this one up. There is a level included with it, very cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. This is the included phone clip, uh, so that you can go ahead and attach your wireless device where I thought it was included. There we go, it is the included phone clip. So you twist this out sideways and it has a spring-loaded mechanism to hold onto your phone. 
Um, so then you clip it onto your phone like so, and then you use the thread mount at the top to clip it on or to thread it on, excuse me. So you just thread, the, so I guess you thread that on. Um, you lock this little knob up so it doesn't move on you. Um, and I guess that's what the level is for, so you can adjust. There's, there is a little level on it, which is very cool. Um, so that I guess your shots can be perfectly leveled. Um, that's that's actually pretty cool. It's kind of not below the secure devices. What knob? Oh, okay, so then there's another knob I didn't even see. So you tighten up this knob so that this locks up and play. Okay, so that has way more adjustability than what I thought it would. Uh, I'm actually quite impressed. And then I'm gonna guess that this knob is the one that you use to lock. This one is the one that you use to lock this up. Yeah, so it goes up like that. Let's just see how, just how tall it gets. Oh, okay, so see, that's one thing I'm afraid of with these plastic knobs is that if you over tighten them, they're gonna break. That's kind of like the same thing that happened to my uh, Mount Dog soft lights. That's why I don't really feature them as much uh, because a lot of those knobs, I kind of over tighten them and they're plastic, they broke. And I mean, it's not like I, I went ham on them or anything like that, but certainly um, it was enough to break them. And I mean, you get what you pay for. They were cheap budget ones but I would expect them to just, just last a little bit longer, okay? So I'm gonna extend all the legs as far as they go. They do have these side-mounted locking clips that when you extend them, when you when you lift them up, they open up, and then when you push them back down, that's when they lock up. And it looks like we have some more down here. Okay, we're gonna extend this, we're gonna extend this. Okay, come on, then we're gonna lock it up. Okay, make sure it's fully extended, lock it up. Make sure it's fully extended, lock it up. And it looks like we have one more segment all the way at the very bottom. Extend that as well, lock it up. And one more all the way at the bottom, extend that, lock it up. I just wanna see this uh, this thing's maximum capabilities. And this thing all the way up, lock it up, okay. So now we are in full vertical mode. Let's see just how tall this thing is. Okay, that thing is, uh, okay. It's, it's not as tall as I thought it would be. But it is actually um, taller than what I need it to be. And in fact, I think this is going to serve its purpose quite well. On the downside, again, you do have to keep in mind that this is a budget plastic tripod. So what that's gonna mean is that this is gonna be very, very light use, okay? Um, yes, it does have, I think, the reason why I went with this one is because I think it has 7,800 or almost uh, or almost 9,000, almost 9,000 positive reviews on Amazon. However, take that with a grain of salt. You know, um, as, as I saw earlier, or as you were able to see, a lot of these components on this tripod are made entirely out of plastic. You know, yes, the tubing on it is made out of metal. Yes, it, it some of the parts do feel nice to it. But again, where it really matters and the majority of the joints and the majority of the components of this tripod are sadly made out of plastic. So that means they're gonna wear down very quickly, uh, they're gonna break, they're gonna fail on you. But if you're just getting started, like me, if you're stepping up from a couple of paint cans and a vehicle, uh, a car mount, you're, I think you're doing pretty good. Um, again, th this, is, this is not professional at all. If you can pay attention up here, where is it, where is it, where is it? Here, if you can see those joints right there, those are teeth that they interlock together to be able to hold the position on the tripod. Again, you don't know how many times I've seen those fail. I see those get worn out because the plastic on this is so soft. This is this is cheap, $24.99. Um, if you talk to a professional cameraman or something that somebody that works with cameras, you're gonna find out that real tripods are very, very expensive. And $100 doesn't even scratch the surface of what a tripod should be or cost them, let alone a $25 tripod, um, let alone one with all of these features, you know? And let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this tripod or what are your experiences with tripods? Have you had uh, experiences with cheap tripods that are worth talking about? Or has it been kind of like what I'm talking about to where they're good to get you started, but they're nothing serious for the enthusiast cameraman or the enthusiast photographer. Again, these are fine just to get the job done. Right away, they 
they, they work quite well. You know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with them. And I am a huge, huge fan of, of this. This 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 thing just, that absolutely rocks. That that switch, that, that little remote to take pictures. Yeah, I'm I'm a huge, huge fan. Yeah, I'm liking that. This alone might wait, might make it worth $24.99 for me. And I'm definitely happy with this purchase. But again, it is a beginner purchase. It is made out of plastic. And take it with a grain of salt. Take those almost 8,000, almost 9,000 five-star reviews Stick them with a pinch of salt, as the majority of people are not professional cameramen. You know, most people are amateur, like your, you know, like your host here at best. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our Christmas special uh, budget phones, our Jingle Bells parody. Click up here. I promise you will laugh. Thanks for watching.